Hello students, today we are going to learn about Photoshop. Photoshop is used for photo editing, image, creation, graphic designing, software applications relating to the graphics etc. It provides many image editing features as I told you. It is a layer based editing system that enables the photo editing application within multiple overlays that support transparency. How to start a Photoshop? Click on all programs from the start menu. Click on the Photoshop icon. Click a door and it opens. Elements in a Photoshop include menu bar which is the most used component in this software. It has options like file, edit, layer, select, filter, view, window etc. Option bar shows the several options for specific tools and tools palette. While the tools palette is present on the left side of the interface, it is a collection of icons used for creating and editing images. Document window displays the current status of the file. Layer panel is used mostly by all the editors. Now, how to create a new image window? Click on file menu and then click new. A dialog box appears. Give the name for the image. Select and write the dimension and the resolution. Then click on OK. The new image which is finalized is created on the Photoshop. For changing the size on screen image, click the image in the menu bar. Click on the image size. Now change the width and the height dimensions. Click on OK. The resizing is done. In order to change the print size, select the image from the menu bar. Click on image size. A dialog box appears. Now click on the required dimension. It is given to that dimension itself. Cropping tool is very essential while it comes to cropping of an image. To do so, you need to click on the crop tool. Select the area which is to be cropped. Drag the mouse without leaving. For resizing cropping boundary, you drag its corner handle. Click on the uh, right button or press enter. It's done. Screen modes are present interface styles of photoshops which can increase or decrease how much of the photo editing software's interface is displayed. There are several ways you can quickly change between different screen modes in photoshop. To use the menu bar, Start by opening a new or existing file. Select V, click screen mode, then click one of the alternative screen modes to change your interface layout. Lasso tool is very useful for drawing freeform segments. To add, subtract or intersect with an existing selection, click the corresponding button in the options box. Use of magic wand tool by selecting a group of pixels through a color of images it can be used. To do so, click on magic wand tool, click on the selected place in an image, Photoshop will select the pixel chosen along with the similar pixel, press delete key for deleting the selected pixels. Moving and selecting, do the selection from any selection tool, click on move, click the side where and you want to paste it, drag the mouse, by doing so background color is filled and fixed at a place, white color is the default background, moving selected, selected border. Click the selection tool. Click inside the selection and drag it. Selection starts moving. Inverting the selection. After deselecting the selected object, rest of the selection can be inverted after selecting them. So this is useful only when the background of an any object is being changed. Okay, inverting the selection. Do the selection along with selecting tool. Click the move tool. Click the selection, drag it. Press the Alt key on the keyboard. Leave the mouse button for the terminating selection. Dock tool is used for giving lightning to the significant area of an image. While the burn tool is used for darkening the area of image. But it also keeps the photographic term which is used for zooming on light at the time of making the film negative. That's it for today's class. Hope to meet you soon. Thank you.